Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and we are back at our Operation Watchtower playthrough on War on the Sea. Uh, last episode, we encountered a group of Japanese ships, including a light cruiser. We hit them with air power. Unfortunately, they had plenty of air cover, so our air forces were pretty beat up by the end of it. Uh, we did manage to sink, I think, one or two of the uh, destroyers, but the light cruiser is still in the area. Uh, we have the Tar Heel Strike Group moving in. Uh, they are going to hopefully encounter them and engage them. If they head down the slot, we are going to hit them with subs, and as well as Surface Action Group 10, which has some weird thing going on with their uh, navigation. So we will send them down into the slot like that. Now it is 9.30 in the morning. So we have a full day to launch air attacks on this group. Um, the zeros in the Shortland Island area are going to be a problem for sure. So we are going to have to make sure that we have plenty of air cover. And I think both of our carrier battle groups have all of their, uh, oh no, we can launch some wildcats here. Um, let's launch the 12 wildcats first. Send them up. Uh, we've got Dauntlesses and Avengers that are coming back from uh, attacks on this convoy. So let's get the next group of attackers up. Uh, we're going to go with Dauntlesses. We're going to send them up in the area. Our Wildcats. We are going to have them escort those Dauntlesses, I think this is the right group here. Let's move time forward a little bit. Oh, I guess not. Yeah, they are escorting them. They're heading out. These wildcats can return to base. All right, our scouts are coming back from their second patrol of the day. Kind of want to keep the uh, Our Hill Strike group out of range of those zeros. We do, however, need to launch a scout up in this area to see if we can't put some eyes on that convoy. Kind of curious why the uh, zeros didn't engage over here, but they did this time. So, All right, Dauntlesses, uh, and we've also got our battle group here as well. Let's uh, get everyone turn their radar on. Just in case. Turn off the fire at will. Turn on the radar. Start. Alright, there are the aircraft right there. So our Dauntlesses. We are going to have you leave the area, or start leaving the area. Okay, our wildcats look like they are 
moving to engage the uh, the absolute worst target that it, they could engage. So everybody target him. Have you form up. Have you form up, target him. And I believe we've got some zeros over here that we're going to have to deal with. So we will send you over to deal with him. Kind of surprised we haven't seen the, uh, see if the, uh, ships are in the area yet. Not seeing them out there. Take him out. Shoot him. Somebody shoot him. Anybody gonna shoot him? There we go. There you got him. Where's that other zero? There he is out here. Okay, the air battle is going on. go. I think that's all the uh, zeros out in that area. That's why they're targeting this uh, scout now. Meanwhile, we've got this formation of wildcats moving in on the next group of zeros up here, or maybe that's just one. It's like that's a lone zero. Oh wow. Oh wow. That was just unfortunate for our pilot. There we go, we got him. Okay. All right, that appears to be everybody unless uh we could spot someone out here. I don't think the uh, surface group is in this engagement, so I'm going to exit out. Okay. Is the Enterprise, are you ready to launch yet? Yet. Boss probably isn't either. All right, so I'm going to get the air patrols out, and we will report any findings as they come up. Oh, my friends, at long last, we have sighted a Japanese aircraft carrier, an unescorted Japanese aircraft carrier. Unfortunately, I don't think we have anything in range. So we are going to definitely be launching scouts. We've got Surface Action Group 10 heading up. Uh, we are going to send the WASP Battle Group 
up through this island chain up here. They are way up there, so we'll see what they're doing, see what direction they're headed. They are headed, looks like they're headed south, Greenling. This could be your moment. Out you go. I hope we can intercept them. And then we've got one light cruiser. There's that group there. Oh, I don't know if we can get any scouts out in time. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what direction they're headed. These guys are all returning to base. Let's get some scouts up. 190 miles, that should, uh... They're not going to be there by the time our scouts get up there, but... Fisher's returning to base. Now let's hope, uh... There we go. On Greenling. Oh, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Come on, Greenling. I think we lost them. Ah, oh, shit. That's too bad. But they are out there, so... We do know they are out there. We saw them, briefly. Hey, Greenling, you're gonna take up a patrol pattern. Like this, so it's uh, 8 o'clock at night, almost 9 o'clock at night, so our air operations are currently unavailable. Kind of thinking that cruiser group moved back. Gonna have you come back out here for now. Okay, Northampton is heading back after rearming. All right, let's get through the night and see what happens. Okay, so here's something new. In the dead of night, 2.22 in the morning, Surface Action Group 10 has come across one carrier and four destroyers, so that is a different carrier group. So we are going to begin this battle. Turn everybody's radar on. Okay, we are going to break. We are going to have the Beal and the Honolulu form up. Head off in this direction. And the Birmingham, St. Louis, and Bach. We are going to form up. Head over here. Going to increase our speed. And begin. So it's not completely dark night. There we have the Japanese battle group right there. At 15,000 yards. So we are going to adjust course on both of our groups. I'm going to have him head straight up. All 
right, and the first thing we're going to do, star shells. Hey, okay, Honolulu. are going to form up. down a little bit Beal so you don't get too far ahead all right let's see what we have we have let's identify her my first Japanese battleship sighted very exciting There's only one class, so that's all there is. Hey. We're actually going to have them. slightly <sighs> go with armor piercing what's the solution on them 18% like they're firing high explosive well, they're already shooting at her. Okay, hold your fire. Honolulu. Hold your fire as well. Birmingham. I get the Shokaku as well. Or they haven't started shooting at us, so that's a good. Okay, fire. St. Louis. Open fire. Fire Beal. Honolulu. Open fire. actually want them to turn around. I 
Have them turn as well. See if we can see them through the binoculars yet. Awful dark out there. As of yet, they haven't started firing at us. Only going 20 knots. Have you switched to star shells? Right there. Range, 13,000 yards. It'll be good for getting the star shells out. Taking any hits yet? Doesn't look like it. Hold fire with you. Twenty knots. So if big fills up the whole screen. Right, there's one of the destroyers there. Twenty knots would put you right about here. far off on the star shells were we? Eh, pretty far off. Probably have the Beal hold fire before she uses up all her star shells. See how our manual fire did. We're just sailing straight ahead. There was a hit. Another hit. Another hit. Fire. Okay, Beal, you are going to switch your fire. Okay, Honolulu secondaries. I want you to launch star shells. Right there. Okay, we're going to pause for a second, get some identification going on these other two ships that we have sight of. Buki. We got one, one forward, one aft, both down. Hiratsuyu. I get that Fubuki Beal. Honolulu. Want you to hold fire on your main guns.
Okay, let's get them reloaded. They're all reloaded. Still going 20 knots. Fortunately, only our forward guns are in action. <clears throat> See how we do. We'll let two fly. Maybe three. Okay, hold your fire. That second one should hit her pretty midship. fly. She's down a couple knots. Let's see what we can do here. Feel. How many star shells left? Hold your fire. Get you to switch to star shells. We don't have any left, all right, never mind. You do have star shells on your main guns. seems to be holding up fairly well. Are out 7,000 yards. They have yet to start firing on us. I don't know if that's a glitch or if... Yeah, I don't know. They, they haven't started firing on us yet, so... you to target or to identify these other two destroyers here. Another Fubuki and another Fubuki. Okay, we see some smoke out there. Carrier is smoking. I don't know if she's laying smoke or damaged.
we're still launching star shells. Hold your fire. Put armor piercing. Okay, she's up to 21 knots. At 7,000 yards. Alright, full broadside of armor piercing. Heading towards the Shokaku. Like they are firing back at us, finally. Let one more salvo fly after this one. Okay, hold your fire. They are starting to maneuver towards us. Okay, St. Louis. We're close enough that we can, uh... We got our spotlights on her. Birmingham. You're going to have you break. And head north. Deal. Get you to head out in this direction. Honolulu. Turning. That doesn't look like it. Like she's the only one that isn't turning. Hey, okay, hold your fire. Now she's turning. Okay, Honolulu, we're gonna have you start targeting this Fubuki here. Fire. Start targeting this Shirahatsu. Right, those torpedoes might not be a problem for her, but Honolulu Break left. See if we can get in between them. While you're at it, fire. Oh wow, there's a lot of them. And she got hit once. All right, I'm going to do something a little different and cut the episode right here. I don't usually cut it mid-battle, but the whole episode would run to be about an hour and a half if I didn't. So we will pick up the action in our next episode as we go after that Japanese flat top. If you like the episode, hit that like button. 
If you are new here and would like to follow along through the rest of the campaign and this battle, hit the subscribe button. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Love hearing from you guys. And as always, J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good night.